What's up everybody, Dave's here back with another Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 video. And today we continue on with our Expert Mission series and I show you how to beat Expert Mission 10 offline. Now stick around through this whole video because Frieza throws out a lot of different things and that's who you're fighting in this. It's going to be Golden Frieza in this one. Uses a lot of those boss moves. So stick around so you can see exactly what you can expect in this fight because there is a lot that comes at you in this one. So go on down to number 10, the Emperor's Worth, and this is Golden Frieza, like I said. Uh, you can unlock Hell Zone Grenade from this, so if you're looking for that, this is the mission to do it. Now on all these missions, I've been using my male Earthling uh, balance build, and I'll leave a suggested video up top here if you want to see exactly the build I've been using to go through these expert missions, uh, because it's it's a fairly tame build it doesn't do a whole lot of damage but I get through it pretty easily so like always we want to go ahead and charge up right from the beginning to get that five bars in continue to charge up while the computer takes care of Golden Frieza use potential unleashed or whatever awoken skill you've got and then just start unloading the members death beams on it now Frieza all the time is going to use these boss moves uh, really don't even go against them much. See right here we're already at the giant key blast. I'm sure by now after doing these expert missions you've already got a preference for which you use on this so I'm not going to tell you what to do but you know you got to knock this thing away. Uh, I'm still using revenge final flash. Uh, I'll throw out some regular basic key blast too sometimes. Uh, it eventually goes away. This one was a little bit tougher than the other ones have been but still not really an issue. So we throw it right back on Frieza. We charged up while that was happening. For some reason, it lets you charge up during that time. And we just keep going with the Emperor's Death Beams. And right here, now he's going to get the power up. And we're just going to keep going right back to what we're doing. Just charge up and just keep hitting them. Now, I don't know if something's changed in these expert missions, but I can remember these expert missions being a lot harder when the game first came out. I know Extreme Malice was glitched but all these seemed a lot harder than they are. Uh, so I don't know if something changed on that. Now he's gonna use the knockback technique and it's gonna put you through the portal and you're gonna have to start facing people. Now this is where this expert mission kind of becomes annoying because this just keeps happening. We're gonna speed right through and we're on Namek and we gotta fight Zarbon. So I'm gonna speed through that for you. But now we have to go to another place. So we charge up before we get there and we've gotta fight Cooler now very very annoying on these missions uh, I just want to be able to get them done I don't want to have to keep dealing with this but unfortunately you have to in this so hopefully if you're trying to unlock that zone grenade hopefully you get it on the first try and don't have to deal with it again so now we've got cooler defeated and it's time to go back through the last gate and finally get back to be able to fight golden freeze uh, uh, these are some of the most annoying ones to do because you have to travel to the other places, but we're going to come back and, and right back to business, charge up, and keep attacking them. He's going to do it yet again. We weren't even out but like a minute, and he's already knocking us back to those portals again to do it all over again. But this time, even worse. Now, hopefully if you're doing these, you're above level 80. It could be kind of annoying fighting some of these with uh, maybe like a lower level character. So hopefully you're above level 80 so you can kind of get through these people fast. As you can see, we got to fight Vegeta now, go through a portal, go back and fight Zarbon again. And then we got to go back yet again and go fight Cooler. So that's why I find these annoying. They take up a large chunk of time and they're really pointless fights, but you got to do them. So now we're finally back to Frieza again. And once again, we're just going to start throwing them Emperor's Death Beams at him. And he's already going to throw a giant Key Blast. So like I said, this Golden Frieza just keeps using those boss moves all the time. It's really annoying, but it, it's easy to deal with. Now I do get caught here without any key. So I've got to do this and get some of it back and then start blasting away. A little bit of a pain in the butt, but we deal with it. it it's still not that hard. Now I have been using Revenge Final Flash against uh, these giant key blasts, but I do re recommend Spirit Blaster if you do happen to have DLC. I guess if you got Revenge Final Flash, but you probably got that one. I think Spirit Blaster works a lot better 
than that does. I've, I've never had any issues with it. It usually knocks it back pretty easy with Spirit Blaster, so maybe consider using that if you got it. So now, if you had unlocked the move, you're going to see it right here. And if not, just keep retrying. We showed you exactly how to do it, so you should have no problem with it from now on. I will have the rest of the expert missions coming out soon, so if you did need help on any of them, you will be able to see exactly like these ones, what to expect, how easy it is, what super souls I use, what moves I use. You'll be able to see that all coming up soon on any of the, the other ones. That's going to wrap this video up. If you like the content I'm putting out, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.